I'm Leonie Cooper and I'm the Chair of the London Assembly Environment Committee and I'm here today with uh, Sheila Dillon who has come to speak to us as part of our investigation into London's food security. So Sheila, what do you think a resilient food system would look like for London? What would be its key features? London is going to be forced to um, set up more resilient food supplies um, and it would be smart to do that, you know, before the, the real need kicks in. Horticulture doesn't require a lot of space. You can produce um, quite a lot of food in quite um, small areas on the fringes of, of the city. Given the amount of food and drink that comes into London, what could be done to increase production of food in London and perhaps in other cities? I think there, there are plenty of brownfield sites that, if looked at imaginatively, could be used for horticulture. You know, horticulture is, is really intense production. I mean, it's, even when it's organic, it's, it's highly intense, highly productive. You, you know, more attention should be paid to that. What do local food networks, you know, they know best, I don't know best. What do local food networks need to expand? So finally, Sheila, what could London learn from other cities in Europe and indeed elsewhere that have more resilient food systems? I think London could learn from the French model of um, school food. The children were given time to eat. Were given, you know, the, the lunch hour was longer. There was no grab and go. The idea was sit around the table with your friends. You learn to talk. You learn manners um, serving each other. I think there's a lot to be learned from the French experience. 